Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I'd show you part of my Arrow video collection. These will be the limited edition versions that I have and I'll move on to the standard editions in a later video. So let's see what we've got. So first of all, Donnie Darko by Richard Kelly. This is one of my favourite films when I was growing up as a teenager. So I was glad to hear when this was being released on 4K. So there's a poster included there. We've also got this lovely hardback book um, full of wonderful essays and pictures about the film, which is really nice. And then the actual case itself there. So I think initially there was a printing error or a quality control error on the uh, first release of Donnie Darko on 4K. Um, but fair play to them, Arrow put their hands up and they did start doing a replacement disc programme. Um, and mine came quite swiftly, to be honest with you. And you can tell this is the second version because there's a, a V2 at the end of that number there. So next up, True Romance by Tony Scott. Again, this was another big favourite of mine as a teenager. Um, I'm a big fan of Quentin Tarantino, who wrote the screenplay, I believe, and also a fan of uh, Tony Scott. So when I heard that this was being released, um, I believe there was two different versions, two different 4K versions you could buy, but I just fell in love, fell in love with this artwork. So it had to be mine. Um, this is also the Steelbook version. So we've got Patricia Arquette on the front. And Christian Slater on the back. And I believe this comes with bits and pieces. I think there's a sticker or a tattoo there, a poster, some art cards. So yeah, that's one of the pride and joys of my collection. And it also comes with a, a booklet, a soft, soft case booklet. And just full of fantastic essays and pictures from the movie. Next up, Candyman, starring Tony Todd. Classic horror movie, which was previously released by Arrow in a limited edition version. Um, this is the 4K reissue. So let's take a look. There's the case. Some details on the back if you want to pause. And again, this comes with some art cards, a poster, and the disc itself. There's the poster. And again, a nice soft, thick booklet with what looks like storyboards for this one, which is very, very nice. Really nice artwork on this one as well. And then we have Tremors, classic uh, horror film from, I think, was it 1990 this was released? Kevin Bacon and Fred Ward. Again, feel free to Pause there if you want to read more. So, what I tend to do with some of these releases, as you can see here, is um, they'll come in the cellophane 
cover, um, you know, the box set will be covered. There'll be a little HDR sticker. And for some reason, I like sticking them on the cases, some of them, so. Anyway, that's the front cover. A real whirlwind tour of uh, what we have here. Uh, this came with a few bits and bobs as well, which is really always welcome. A 4K disc, Blu-ray disc. Um, another nice thick soft cover booklet. Again, full of pictures, essays. So that's really nice. And then this little poster as well. And this, this also came with a bigger poster, um, which had this artwork on, uh, which I've currently got framed and that's hanging up in my media room, which I'll show you one day, I'm sure. So that was Tremors. Next up, we've got Wild Things. Again, another Kevin Bacon film. So um, yeah, Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon and all that. Um, so yeah, here's another one that I'm pretty proud to have in my collection. Um, Again, I think there was two different versions of this that came out, the standard Amory case and also the, um, the steel book, and this is the steel book. So there's some information there if you want to pause and read at your own leisure. So let's take a quick look here. So another lovely thick booklet here. And again, that's just full of information, pictures, essays from the film. There's the steelbook itself. Fantastic artwork there. Really, really nice. I love the artwork of this. Some postcards on the inside. The... Um, 4K disc and the Blu-ray, and then this also comes with a with a poster as well. So that's Wild Things. Then we've got RoboCop. Again, this was another one just like um, Candyman, where it was released initially in a limited edition uh, version, not too dissimilar to this, but it was just a standard Blu-ray. This is the 4K copy. Take a look at what's on offer here. So we've got a poster. We've got a thick booklet. I think this is probably the thickest one um, out of my collection. Um, there's the front cover, the back. And again, this is just chock full of information, behind the scenes photos, stills, Essays, yeah, really good. And there's the cover itself, the, the case itself. And again, I've added that HDR sticker there from the outer packaging. There's a sticker, a few postcards as well. And then we've got the 4K disc. And a second 4K disc for this one. So that's Robocop. And then finally, The Wolf of Wall Street by Martin Scorsese. I think I was really surprised when Arrow announced they were releasing this one. I think a lot of people were, as it's quite a mainstream movie, but there we are. Uh, I always have trouble getting this out, so I'm just going to cut for a moment so I can get this out. There we go. I don't know why, but I always have trouble getting that out of the case. So I think this is made to look like the main character's wallet. And again, that's really nice. It looks all leathery, but it's not. It's just cardboard. But yeah, they've really got the look of a worn leather on there. And then... There's the disc, 
the, uh, the case. I don't know why I keep calling it the disc. There's the case. And again, feel free to pause it there if you want to go through the details. So we've got the 4K disc and the Blu-ray. And then there's some goodies in here. Um, see, I thought that was real then. I thought that was a real $100 bill, but it's not. It's just part of the case. Um, I always struggle with these. So there we are. We've got a business card. Again, that's fake, so please don't um, report the video. That's just built into the case there. Um, an American XS card, and as you can see, there's some questionable uh, white powder on there. I think that's signed, yeah. And hidden away in there is the booklet. Again, it's just full of really nice photos, behind-the-scenes photos. We've got essays. So, yeah. So, there we have it. There's, a, there's the majority of my limited edition Arrow box sets. So, I'll probably do another video soon about these. I'm, I'm probably not going to release them one after the other just to give you guys different content to look forward to. Um, but in my next video, I do have something special to show you that arrived this morning. I'll try and do a video of that tomorrow if I can. But in the meantime, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you to every single one of you who have already subscribed. It means so much to me. And yeah, even having that amount of subscribers was a dream for me um yeah so thank you so much it, it really means a lot to me that you guys you might not like hearing me drone on about films but at least you're here for the content and that's what that's what matters at the end of the day so anyway thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video bye